U.S. Tibetan president in exile, Penpa Sering, spoke to Republic after the India-China clash in Tawang. This is his first interview after the clash. Let's listen to what he says. Mr. Sherik, thank you very much for joining us on Republic TV. I want to straight away take this first question with you. How does the Tibetan administration really look at this recent uh, attempt by the Chinese uh, to continue and capture significant heights? Uh, Tawang is important for the Tibetans because Tawang is on the border with Tibet. And uh, the sixth Dalai Lama was born there. And this is not the first time that a Dalai Lama uh, was born outside Tibet. The third Dalai Lama was also born in Mongolia. Or, uh, therefore, uh, the relationship between the people of Tawang and uh, people of Tibet are very close. Uh, it's not just the Tawang area, but most of the people on the Himalayan region are very close to the Tibetans because we share uh, common cultures, a common religion, which again uh, came from India. As I keep saying that uh, the Tibetan religion came from India, Tibetan language came from India, and we are an extension of uh, one part of ancient Indian wisdom. And uh, we are also a repository of one part of ancient Indian uh, culture. So therefore the relation between Tawang and we uh, abide by the international agreement that we had t Tibet as an independent country with British India whose legacy has been transferred over to the government of India and uh, as Tibetans we follow the MacMahon line uh, and uh, I, we fail to understand why China is uh, uh, you know entering into unprovoked belligerence uh, on areas that are inhospitable uh, unlivable inhabitable. Um, the only reason I could think is that China is very insecure as of today. And as uh, one of the symptoms that we, uh, we witnessed was last month's protests in uh, many parts of China. So uh, when Chinese government itself is not very sure of the sustainability of the Communist Party, then they keep these hotspots burning. Otherwise, there is no reason to, for, for China to be belligerent uh, and that too unprovoked on the Indian border. Uh, uh, because right. of the insecurity, they keep some of these hotspots burning, whether it's India or South China Sea or Taiwan. So when there is a threat to the sustainability of the Communist Party, they will attack one of these areas to uh, instill nationalism among the Chinese population so that the communism does not fall.